Wars. <laughs> You know Welcome back to Let's Play about. Grand Theft Auto V, bringing you domestic disputes. Let's go ahead and check out this little random event. Hey guys, Jesus Case the D here, bringing you another episode. Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. That's kind of your own mistake, bro. My favorite iron. She's not getting that. All right, sure. Get in the car, man. Really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Jeez, man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know I'll Didn't think this is how we'd be starting off the episode, but okay. Shit all over the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the yeah, right. I, back. I appreciate all you right. doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Franklin, man. Good to meet you. Franklin, man. Oh, okay, what is that? It, um, Italian? Spanish? I'm just white. Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My yeah. sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. <laughs> so, just so parents that, that are kind of about? idiots. Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And, do you? That's not the point. <laughs> she doesn't know that I have one. Shh. Okay, I'm a guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Uh, century was. Yeah. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I, mean, I don't know, man. Class. Suddenly I regret helping this guy out. If you just but whatever. Off the entrance here, that'd be great. Yeah, sure, hey, whatever. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. Uh, excuse me? Alright, Castro will be available to play golf? I didn't realize I was opening up a contact with that, but sure. That's cool, I guess. Just gonna play golf? Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and jack this car while we're here. This looks much nicer. Bravado Banshee. Swank! Everyone at the country club has nice cars. Alright, well, now that we're in the episode proper, thanks for joining me, guys. Now we can actually get underway for the mission that we have planned for today. And uh, in the last episode, we left things off on a bit of a cliffhanger with Martin Madrazo. So sorry to do this to you guys, but we're actually be doing another Devin Weston mission instead today. I know, I know, I'm getting a bunch of hate mail right now, but we'll get back to Madrazo eventually. Um, just gonna let that simmer for a little bit right now. I do want to finish the Devin Weston missions though, especially because we're in control of Franklin right now. Anyway, I figure that's the more appropriate thing to do because he doesn't even know what's happened with. Franklin and Mike. He, he doesn't know what's happened with uh, Trevor and Michael. That's what I mean to say. All right, let's go ahead and see here. I believe this is going to be car number four out of five, so we're approaching the end here. Good golly, Miss Molly. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. Get in so costume? You get in wardrobe and play nice. the car or try something else. All right. When you're Just going there, guns blazing. Studio security, call me. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and hop the fence here. Emergency exit or emergency entrance. Huh? Huh? Find the actor. The actor. The actor. What a little whiny shit. Yeah, go ahead. Get out of here. Good, good, good. No one here, no witnesses. Like anyone would even give a shit about you anyway, am I right? And that's what you get. Okay, this guy's, like, I don't mean to, like, bring this up, but are they not gonna notice that I'm not the actor? I mean, I look nothing like that guy. Ah, I do look pretty dapper, though. Very styling, very profiling. Kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun. All right, get in the car. I actually pretty much just look like a bad James Bond knockoff, but whatever. All right, cool. Where's Daniel Craig here to impress. Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. All right. Yo, what's what up, honey? Nice. Yo, why don't I just star in this movie instead? What up? Nope. You know what, chick? You should probably just bail. You probably should just bail out right now. What is going on? What are you doing? No, it's actually just an action scene. Oh my god, you crazy bitch! I need to get the fuck out of here. Don't make me push you out. They ain't gonna be on us for long. 
Oh my god. Lose the security? Is she gonna keep doing that to me? Yes, she is. Wow. No, just get out of the car. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. This button says spikes. Spikes. Let's go ahead and drop the spikes. Oh, nice. Sweet. That's cool. That's a legit spy car. Oh my god, quit making me crash, you psycho. Come on, I get come on. You get paid a of Stop a doing that. I should sack my agent. Yeah, sure. You know what? That is way easier. Stop Press the X button, button to see what the red button does. Oh my god, eject button. That is what I wanted. Jesus Christ. Well, this car has been severely damaged. I'm not sure he still wants it. Alright. Nice. I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but uh. your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, well whatever. It's not like they the know car. me. Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do nice. The traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. A suspicious figure near the girl Is someone else going to try and steal this car? Okay. Well, you know what? I'm ready for it. But just anyway, this is a really cool car, though, I have to say. I really pegged it with that James Bond thing. All it really needs is, like, oil slicks and flamethrowers on the side. Speaking of which, I'm kind of excited for the new Mad Max video game that's coming out. Now, I know movie tie-in games usually aren't super good, but I have kind of high hopes for Mad Max just because the movie was so awesome. They have a lot of expectations to live up to there, though. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Where do you want me to park this thing? In here, I guess? I mean, I can park it in here. No, it doesn't say to. Oh, no, this. Here we go. Here's the garage. Uh, I don't know what suspicious guy they're talking about, though. Yo, what's up, Devin? How's it going, homie? Wow. quite the rep there, Slick. Yeah, I bet. I hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge. Shorten them either. I bet. Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. So why don't you just buy the car from them after the movie's done? Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Nice to see you, Lamar. Oh. Chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys for <laughs> motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two hour female orgasm. What it is, homie. Can I get that on a business card? He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Oh, really? Yeah, exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh, life. Oh, no, am I sense intention here, Slick? <gasps> Just a little. He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Wow. Anyway, okay. Come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Oh, great. Yeah, last thing we need is Lamar getting influenced by that guy. All right. Well, that actually didn't take too terribly long. So, let's see, where's the next Madrazo mission located at? Not too terribly far away. You know what? Let me go ahead and... Would it be faster to take a car? I'm nah, probably going to just call a cab. I'm going to go ahead and call a cab, meet you guys back up at the next mission, and let's go ahead and make this a two-mission episode, because I'm just feeling nice today. Hey, can I get a cab? What? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. All right. Sounds good. What's up, man? Yeah, that's what I thought. What? What did you think? So you are. Shh, idiot. Wow, really? Really? All you want to start fighting with me? Really? Screw off. Wait, aren't you Grove Street? What the fuck, man? Alright, you know what? You know what? Fuck. Back off. Oh my god. Let me just get in my cab. 
You know what? Nope, this isn't going at all how I wanted it to. I'm just going to take the taxi cab, because this is not at all going how I planned it. Shit. Alright, so we're up here at the mission location. I, I guess I was a little bit mistaken here. It's not actually a Madrazo mission, although it, it might be related to Madrazo. It's actually a Michael mission that we're going to be taking here as Franklin. Let's go ahead and pop in over here. See, uh, where you been, man? Haven't heard from you in a really long time. I love how I still have the, uh, the tuxedo on. That's real spiffy. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and yeah, I'm in trouble with him again. Fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? Eh. <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Christ. Run! Run! Fucking Trevor, I swear, man. Bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! <laughs> Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. More or less the same thing, right? Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. Oh, God. Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. Might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> you are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. <laughs> Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to. Uh, Is this really the time for that? Fantastic. Let's go. I'm in. Whoa! No! 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 Not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. What go the watch fuck? Her, okay. She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Well, this is just awkward. You want to watch some television? I don't know. The weapons are coming in by air. Call the date, I guess. Ah, oh, I forgot all about my chrome truck. That is so nice. That is styling. All right. Get in the plane. I can't believe this. Like, Trevor is probably the most OCD fucking character. You're not gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. What? Okay. Well, that makes no I sense. That you were pissed after the Merryweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right. Right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. Nice. I gotta say, I got. It. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed tax. All right, sounds good. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. All right, let's do it. You probably don't want to walk in front of me, bro. I want to chop you up into little pieces. That's probably what's going to happen. Alright, let's see if I can fly one of these things. This was always the bane of my existence back in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The uh, Dodo playing mission for, uh, what was it, for the film studios lot was always a pain in the ass. Like, no matter what. Alright, is there any way to pull the wheels back in? Wow, there isn't. Okay. Well, okay, this thing handles like a piece of shit. About as well as you expect it to, I guess. Really? Ah. Uh, hate doing this. 
All right, whatever. My worst fears realized. It's like a combination of Vice City and that one San Andreas mission we have to do for Torino. Mike Torino. I miss that guy. I really wish that they would do a throwback to some of the uh, original San Andreas characters. I've seen like Mad Dog posters in Franklin's room with his aunt, and I've seen like little mentions here and there. But it'd be cooler to see some of the uh, some of the characters like now grown 20 years. Although a lot of them probably didn't make it 20 years. Let's be honest. They're either drug addicts or criminals or there's no way they're gonna last that long. Please tell me you're not going to skydive into them. He probably is, because it's Trevor. Is that the plane out there? I, I don't know if that's what I want. Isn't flying really, really low to the ground also suspect? Because this is, like, dangerously low to the ground. Alright, whatever, man. You do it, and I'll execute it, Ron. That's basically how this team works, right? God, oh no. Oh hey. Oh hey. Calm down now. The military base? Oh, why was I even flying in this direction? Jesus Christ. Superstar, who do you want as your sacrifice? Alright. I love that. How I, I I don't know what the actual like laws and regulations are on no fly zones, but it seems weird to me that you can say that the air is somehow like not occupiable. Like, I get why you would want to, but, like, how do you even have a concept of ownership over air? Like, that just seems so messed up. Yeah, 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 and I'm in a crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. All right, well, that's still part of the military base over there, so I don't want to be flying over the top of it. Nope, 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 nope. Not digging it. No dog diggity. Like, how the hell am I going to catch up with that plane? Like, honestly, look how far ahead it is of me. I don't know why he thinks I can catch up to it and do a little crop duster plane. Like, really? I mean, I'll keep at it, but... I don't really see what this is leading up to. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well today. It is it is hot out here, man. Ronald, you there? Ronnie, old boy, I never thought I'd say this, let alone think it, but... Good to be working together again. You're on the radar, Trevor. I'm aware. Okay. I'm low enough, Ron. Get low, get low, get low to the window, to the wall, to the wall. Little John, them shop boys. Oh my God, I can't get any lower than that, or I'm going to crash this thing. Do not tell me that I'm too high right now, because I can always get higher. All right. God, what way is he even heading? He said it was like around Mount Chillad, but it's like not anywhere near that. Polito Forest. See, I like these forested areas much better than out in the desert. It's just so like lush and I don't know, would be a fun place to retire to. A little small town. Okay, well actually the plane's a little bit closer now and it's going sideways it looks like, so I might be able to catch up. It's gonna take a while. I've been playing some more uh, GTA Online, I realized that the best way to make money early on is probably to do the flight school, but I'm telling you, man, I thought the flight school in San Andreas was difficult, but it's a whole other beast in this game. I was able to do maybe the first three or four missions at it, and then everything after that is just a little too crazy. Especially considering flight controls have never been the strong point of any Grand Theft Auto game for that matter, let alone this one. I mean, they're not terrible in this one. Being completely honest, San Andreas and Vice City's flight controls were way, way worse. But they're not exactly spectacular here. I was actually a pretty big fan of the flight controls in uh, the Battlefield series. A lot of people didn't like the controls, like in Battlefield 3 for flying uh, fighter jets and that sort of thing. But I rather enjoyed it, if I'm being completely honest. Nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I love how that's so finicky, like, how would you even know whose airspace you're in? Like, is that something that they can really even inform you? I'm here to steal your shit. <laughs> Captain T. You can try. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. 
Well, okay, they seem pretty antsy. Also, can they even make that threat? It's international airspace. What the fuck? That cannot be legal. I think a lot of what Meriwether does probably isn't technically legal. It's just who's really going to tell them to stop, right? They're a mercenary group. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, hey. Try not to get hit. Try not to get shit on. Oh, hey. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with you? Christ. Wow, they have horrible aim also, just as a just as a side note. Here we go. Nice! I was like, how are you gonna land that in there? Oh shit. Okay, well, so much for that. Nice, nice. End it. Okay. Finish these guys off. Can I... I don't have any rockets to use, but I could always... Let's go ahead and finish this guy off with the shoddy. And then... Well, I'd plant those sticky bombs, but I don't really think that it'd be too smart to use those right now. Let's just switch back over to the rifle, I think. Any of these guys here? There they are. There you go. Where is he? Oh, he's gotta be there. There you are. Come on, reload, reload. Get him. Nice. Alright, one dude left. Probably get him. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Where are you hiding? Whoa, hey, what the fuck? Nope, oh, mess with the wrong guy here. Do you have slow motion shooting mode? I didn't think so. Alright, what's up here? What you got? Oh, hey, how's it going? Get off my plane. How about nah, bruh? How about I do what I want? Alright, time to take over the controls. Hopefully you know how to fly this thing. Come in, air Whoa, this thing is nice! Personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. Uh. We are now landing at McKenzie Field. Nice. Alright, let's do a nice up oh, turn. Turn the plane! Oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. This is just so crazy. Are they just okay with that? They're not going to try to shoot me down after that? Alright, I'll try my best. Let's go ahead and punch it. Punch it down to the airfield. Alright. I don't know, is there a fighter jet like the one in San Andreas that you do for that last mission from Mike Torino? I forget the name of the jet. But, uh, I remember that one being a lot of fun. Oh, here we go. We have the cargo plane from the jet's position. Oh, God. That's not good. That's cool. Somehow I doubt that. Give my best shot. Nope, screw that. Right? <laughs> I think it's all fallen out, though. It seems like everything tumbled on out. Stall, low airspeed. What does that mean? I do not know what that means. You know what, quit beeping that at me. I, I don't understand your your language, your vernacular. Is authorized. Change bearing or we will engage. I don't think you <laughs> understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. Yeah, right? Okay, how is Trevor not on, like, a domestic terrorist list? Like, he has literally stolen, like, government supplies, like, for the nth time now. And he's not a wanted criminal? Hey, you wouldn't shoot me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. I don't think they really care that much. Oh god, oh god. Nope, let's not do this. Let's not, let's not go this way. Back off. Do I have nothing to be able to fight these guys off with? No, can we not? Can you not be clear to engage? The fuck? No! What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Yeah, screw this. Not worth, not worth it all. 
jump from the plane. Oh god, oh god, oh gee, okay, oh god, get out of there. I cannot even believe this. Holy shit, I was not prepared for this. Metal Gear Solid 3 style. Let's just bail. Oh, hey, so much cargo. Parachute to safety. Cause I'm free. Free falling. Fall faster, fall slower. Eh, I don't care how I fall. I want to parachute right before I land anyway. Hey, to open the parachute. Oh, the cargo plane. No, no. No, I almost had it. We almost had all that beautiful cargo. Oh, well, I mean, assuming it didn't all explode, some of it might still be in the water, if it's any good. Damn it. All right, whatever. Oh, yeah, let's let's uh, slow our descent there. All right. Let's put these camera angles. All right, nice landing. Got blood all over me. Holy shit. It's caked on there. So was that a pass? Uh, again, I don't get how you consider that a mission pass. It seemed like we failed pretty hard there, but whatever. All right, well, I think that's going to be enough for today's episode. Thank you guys again for joining me. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you enjoyed the video, uh, hold on a second. Let's hear from Ron real quick. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I mean, you're talking to me. And Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Yeah. Oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive nice. gear or something. Oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Yeah. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? No. And Agent Sanchez was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. It's hard to tell sometimes. Anyway, guys, thank you again for joining me. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, blah, 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 the whole spiel. If you'd like to subscribe to me, please, please, please feel free to do so. You know, it's been a long day. This is pretty much the end of my recording session. My words are all jumbled. It's they are jumbled. I can't. Words. Help me, please. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.